Get moving. Get in there. Whoa. Whoa. Stand it. Your leg, what happened? Where's Billy? Billy, my son's down in the mine. He's trapped there. Since when? I don't know, three or four days. But Billy's still alive. I can hear him. How did it happen? Oh, some boulders suddenly rolled down. I tried to move them, but they're too heavy for me. Sanders, I warned you not to dig here. It's a burial ground of the Tanay Indians. It's sacred. Hogwash. I don't believe in any taboos or any Indian hocus pocus. I believe there's gold there and plenty of it. Buck! Huh? Wait. Wait, Buck. Hold on. No, no. He's got a very high temperature. He's got to see a doctor right away. I'll take him to Paradise Creek. I'll take the sled across the glacier, down to Honey River. Yeah. There I'll get a canoe and head for Camp Cana. I'll get some supplies from the store at Lonesome Corner. That's sure real nice of you, Don. Best doctor in Paradise Creek. You're not coming along? No, Don, I'm staying here. I just be in, in the way. Without me, you'll travel faster. You'll see. But your leg, if you don't come with me, you'll get gangrene. Two legs or one leg, doesn't matter. I ain't leaving here. There's gold here. And Billy's gonna have it better than I ever did. Take it for the doctor and you. Not for me, for the doctor. But you tell no one about the gold. No one has to know what I found here. I won't tell anyone. I just hope that today idiots don't find out about it. Don't worry, I've got Buck. Okay, if that's the way you want to be back as soon as I can to bring you some medicine for your leg. Hero! <laughs> yeah! Well, Buck, it's 
just you and me now. My nuggets are in there. <laughs> then you found lead, not gold. All right. Oh, yeah. God damn wheel. Can someone give me a hand here? Uh, there goes the rest of it. Mr. Fox, 10 ounces. Sheriff, I hope that you're aware every prospector in Camp Kano has given you for safekeeping all the gold he's mined in the last five months. I'm aware of it, Fox, and I'll deposit it safely in the bank at Paradise Creek. Those? The last one. All right, I'll put it with the others. Have we got it all out? Captain Brandy hasn't been here yet. Tell him to hurry. As soon as Buffins gets here, we'll start moving. We want to make it to at least North River before it gets dark. Better go see what the captain's up to. All right, I'll get him. I just can't raise this thing. Oh, come on, let me try again. What's the matter, people? It doesn't concern strangers, especially a black man. His teeth aren't black. Here it goes, once more now. Oh, hey! Yeah, let me give it a try. Hey, thank you, stranger. My name is Ham. How'd you get so strong? Eating corn bone? How's it look, Buffins? The trail to Lonesome Corner looks all right, Sheriff, but I can't swear the bear path is safe. Well, we'll see when we get there. Worst comes to worst, we'll cross over at Eagle Gorge. Can we move out, Sheriff? No, nah, just a few minutes more. Captain Brandy's late. Again? Captain Brandy! Captain Brandy! What's the matter? The transport is leaving. Only the captain hasn't brought his gold. Do you know where he is? Of course I know where he is. He's probably still sleeping. I'll go and look for him. At this hour, no one can talk to him, though. Oh! Oh, hey! Captain! Ahoy. Captain, the transport's leaving! Come on, get up! Fool, stay in my head. Uh, Breakfast. When do you expect to send your money along? You have to hurry. Second breakfast. Captain, they're leaving without your gold. I can't remember where to find it until I'm dead drunk. How long is that? At least two or three bottles. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> then let them sail off without my cargo. Ship ahoy! Well, it's your gold. Everything we own in this world's on that wagon. I know. I'll defend it with my life if I have to. Dad, you can go. The captain's not sending his gold along. OK, let's go. We've wasted enough time. Why isn't that old South sending his gold along like the other men? Smells fishy to me. That's enough of that. Your own mother smelled fishy to you, Tinker. Hey, you can say that again. All right, out of the way. Goodbye, Rose. Dad, I'm afraid. Nonsense. There's nothing to be afraid of. In about six days, I'll be back here. Don't worry. <sighs> Let's go. Bye.
You wait here. I'll go ahead and scout around a little and see if we can use the bear path. Good idea. If I think we can get through without much trouble, I'll give a signal. Three pistol shots. All right, Buffins. See you later. Here. Hello, Shad. How about offering us a drink? If anyone around here knows whether the bear path is clear, that old geezer does. Maybe. But he won't tell us. Oh, why not? Because no one in the world has ever heard more than three words from old Shad. Uh, what were they? Come along and listen. Since one of you worked at Lonesome Corner, Shad? I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do before you got here? I don't recall. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi, Don. Oh, Cut. Where are you headed? We're going to Paradise Creek. Cut. This boy is very sick. He's got to see a doctor. Can you take him along? Simple thing in the world, Don. What's more, he'll have the most expensive bed in the world. A bed of gold. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'd rather sleep on gold than feathers any day. Yeah, you can say that again. Hello, boys. What kept you so long? I'll ask the questions. How many are there? The sheriff, four men, and a deputy. Not even two men for each of us. Easy, boy. Slow down. You'll live a lot longer that way. We can ambush them right there. We'll catch them off guard like sitting ducks. How long before they get here? About an hour. <laughs> Let's go to work. Why don't you come with us? No, I can't. Billy's father has a bad leg. I have to go back. I'll tell him there's no reason to worry about his boy. He'll have the best doctor there is in Paradise Creek. Thanks. The bear path is all clear. All right, men, let's move on. Let's go. Pound up. Medicine. Medicine. I don't recall. Over there? Here. Hmm? Chad. Uh, I'll take these. You know, if you ask me, it's pretty suspicious. A bear path being so quiet all of a sudden. I agree with you. It's a real death trap, usually. No one knows we've come this way. Yeah, I hope you're right.
Where'd he come oh, oh. from? Huh? Uh, he was in the wagon. I didn't see him. <coughs> what kind of a man are you? The kid's sick. Come on, put the gold in the sandbags and let's take off. Robbie and the kid come along. Buffins. Yeah, boss. Take your share. Is this part of my share? That wound wasn't planned. It'll help make the people believe in your story. Maybe. Here. Thank you. Must be a pretty rich land here where you can ship out all that much gold. You want to buy yourself a claim? Mm-hmm. 
But with that broken hand, you won't be able to do very much. <laughs> it's not broken. But why is it in a sling if it's not broken? Well, that's a long story, ma'am. Did you ever hear of uh, Hammer Ham? No. Hammer Ham? He was the best boxer that ever was, a real champ. <laughs> well, thank you, mister. Only he once had the bad luck to kill another fighter in the ring with a straight left. Bang! And the man was dead. I know, mister. With a right hook. Huh? What makes you so damn sure? Because it was this right hand that did it, mister. Man, what? <laughs> you, your hammer hand? You, man, you're making fun of an old seaman, aren't you? <laughs> I can prove it, mister. Mister, hammer ham, that's a real one. Would have busted a wooden barrel with one good punch. Reach up at anything you can do. <laughs> well, a barrel, just like that one right there. Woody, now. Want to bet I can do it, too? <laughs> Bragging, and you do it, I'll eat my wife. Well, it's just a precaution. You see, if I don't have my right hand in a sling, I'm going to kill somebody else, because when I give that right hook, there's bound to be a corpse. <laughs> hey, what happened here? He just opened a new barrel of whiskey. Do you want a taste? Hey! Hey! <laughs> the transport. <laughs> The gold transport was attacked. I got away. But the others... The others... Oh, the others. Oh, all, all dead. Dead? All dead. The sheriff and the other men, all dead. Give us a little water. All dead. Attack the gold transport. My father. Oh. Buffins is the only one who. Oh. I knew it. I had a hunch. A hunch? Maybe he had something to do with it. You damn fool. If I was in cahoots with him, would I have sent my gold along? Yeah, that's true enough. Yeah, but there's someone who didn't send his gold along like everyone else. Yeah, the captain, for instance. He still got his tucks away. What are you talking about? Listen. I have something to say. You have nothing to say here. I believe I do, since we've no longer a sheriff. What's happened to my father? He was... He was killed. I won't need my badge now. No one will want me to be sheriff after this. What do you mean? I say Buffin should be appointed sheriff. Yeah, That's right. right. Yeah, for you, then I demand that the new sheriff find out who the murderers are and see that the guilty come to trial. I swear I'll do everything in my power, Rose. Are you crazy, Mark? Let him die. That little bastard's dangerous for us. Save him, Doc. He 
took my brother and gave me this little boy. I just want your prison. Does he belong to me? He belongs to you. Sanders. Sanders are gone. You'll be all right. I'll get my sled and take you to Paradise Creek. I'm finished. They, they, they burned me out. Your furs. And mine. Everything's burned. What about Billy? I'll... Billy, let my claim be in his name. I promise. I promise. Look after Billy. I promise. Thank you. Remember, you promise. I promise.
lost a good friend, didn't you, Buck? I know. And Billy? We'll take care of Feeling better? Buck! 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 What is it? The kid's awake! What's your name? I'm... I'm... I've forgotten. I don't know. Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. Here. Take it easy, kid. I can't remember anything. Where am I? Just keep quiet. What's he got? Dementia. No medical terms. Happens very frequently, especially in cases of high temperature. Lost his memory. That's good. What else? Nothing else, but I'll get him well again, just as soon as the port gets here with the medicine from Camp Kano. Hm. Lost his memory. We won't get our money back with any poster. I say we get it. Captain Brandy? Right. I'm sure he knows plenty. I say let's ask him a few questions. That's, right. a, good idea. That's a real good idea. Tinker, that's enough of that. Stop stirring up trouble. As long as I'm sheriff, I'm keeping order in this place. Yeah, why didn't you say that to those murdering bandits, huh? Miss Cotton. Don't forget, you're not the daughter of the sheriff of Camp Kano now. Don't worry, I'm not stealing anything. This cult belonged to my daddy. And I wish I could fire it at the man who in cold blood killed my father. I understand how you feel, but they just disappeared without a trace. No wagon tracks, nothing. Then I'm going to keep on looking. It could be very dangerous, Rose. You mustn't do anything without asking me. Since there are no men in Camp Kano to avenge his murder, then I have to do it alone. Yes, Buck. I know, I know. We'll find Billy. We'll find him. We'll find him. Whoa. Thanks, Chad. It's all right. I understand you. You've been alone so long, you... I forgot how to talk. See ya. Come on, Buck. Rose, it's Don. Don't shoot. I give myself up without a fight. Don.
What are you doing out here, Rose? They shot my father and the other men who were with him on the gold transport. The only one who got away was Buffins. I'm sorry, Rose. Did they get the men who did it? No. I only count five graves. What about the kid? There was no kid. I was there when they buried the men. Rose, I gave your father a boy to take along with him. His name was Billy Sanders. He's either escaped or he's still with the men who did this. Was a deputy sheriff? Buffins. He's now the sheriff of Cancano. I want to talk to him. If we find Billy Sanders, we'll find the men who killed your father. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, I know everything again. I know my name. I know who my father is. We've got mine in the mountains. <clears throat> the port! Hey! What's the idea of that new getup? And what'd you pay for it with? With the nuggets, boss. I told them that we'd struck it red. You idiot, why now? It's too soon after the raid on the gold transport. They'll put two and two together and figure out our plan. <laughs> they ain't that smart around here. And Buffins agrees we ought to get rid of the kid. Buffins. Buffins hasn't anything to say. That's my business. <laughs> Did you bring the stuff? Oh. But I want to tell you something. That kid's dangerous for us when he starts remembering. That ain't likely to happen soon, according to what the doc said. He won't remember anything for quite a while. And another thing, that kid's got parents somewhere. They'll be looking for us. And by then we'll be far away, Laporte. I don't care. I believe in playing it safe. And the safest way is to get rid of him. Now you shut up. That kid might hear you. Hey, kid, how do you feel? <laughs> I see we're wide awake. So, there's our little man. What's your name? What's your name? Bill! Why don't you want to tell us, kid? I don't remember, sir. My head is empty. Can't remember anything. He's lost his memory, you idiot. I'll tell you who you are. You're Robbie. Robert Monty. Robert Monty. Believe me, men. I know what I'm talking about. Jason, you lost all your savings when the gold transport was held up, didn't you? Sure, lost every cent. Why, can you get it back? Possible. You know where it is? Yeah, it's in the safe in Captain then Brandy's let's go get house. It. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. It's in Captain Brandy's safe, all right, but in the back room on the first floor. Now, we gotta get the key or break the safe open. Go get your hammer. I'm sorry, Captain. What's the matter? I'm skipping out. You're so afraid they've got you shaking in your pants just because of that troublemaker tinker. Well, there's talk going on around that you had some connection with the transport attack. That's a lot of stupid talk. It's going to get hot, and I don't want to get holes in my skin where they don't belong. Only rats desert a sinking ship. Pay him what we owe him, Betty, and throw the coward overboard. Right. Captain, out there a tornado is brewing, and it's about to blast through here. Oh. 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 Good afternoon, gentlemen. Is there anything special you'd like to drink? We came for something else besides that rock gun of yours. We came here to get our gold. But this is a saloon, not a bank. We'll settle accounts with you later, Betty. But first, we'll settle up with the captain. <gasps> Mutiny! I'll have you shrunk from the mask by your heat. You're going to hand over your share of that money. Where have you got it hidden? In a safe? Listen! Now stop it! Jason, the hammer! Oh. Leave the woman the lotion! Give this man 15 oh. lashes! <laughs> Idiot! Get down from the command bridge, pirate! <laughs> Where 
Buck, hurry, they're going to kill the captain. Rose, go get him. Buck, stay there. Hi, my name's Don. Who are you? Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, uh, Redlin. Uh, Ru Don Redlin. <laughs> the fellows are a little bit nervous over the attack on the gold transport. I want to talk to you about that. You know anything about it? Maybe. Oh, well, then let's go talk in my office. Don. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's the best fight I've had in years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. I have that problem. Hey, 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 h
I gave it to Sheriff Cotton. Cotton is dead. And one of the murderers lost it in the saloon. And I'm supposed to believe you, Rutland? You believe what you want. But I know at least one of the killers in Bear Path is here in Camp Cano. But you, you're also here. Billy Sanders' father is dead, and this gold belongs to Billy. And I'm going to find him. You see, I figured that one of them lost this pouch, the pouch that I gave your father. But who? Who? I don't know. I... What's wrong? Buffins. He's riding away. I wonder where he's heading. Maybe he's delivering a message. He seems to be in a hurry. Yeah. Message for whom? Don, I'm afraid. <laughs> you needn't be afraid for me. I can take care of myself. It's the others who have to be afraid. Sit down. I haven't any proof Buffins is involved. At least not yet. But I do know that one of the murders is here in Camp Cano. And I promise you, I promise you, I'll find him. It ain't a palace, but it should do. <clears throat> you can see for yourself it's the finest room in the whole hotel. Yeah, just take a look at that view. And a real bargain for the money. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there ain't a more comfortable bed in all Alaska. Fit for a king. Well. Uh, and you can't find fresher eggs for breakfast than right here in Camp Cano, huh? <laughs> Fine. The room's yours. Uh, but you'll have to pay five dollars and what's more in advance. Yep. Well. Come on! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I promise you, you'll sleep in here just like a newborn baby in a cradle. <laughs> all right, all right. I know what I'm not wanted. Yeah, so long, Buck. See you, General. Well, Buck, hmm? what do you think? Home. Don't you make a... Uh. Shh, Buck, Ham, I, uh, uh... Is that the way you greet your friends? I'm, I'm sorry, Ham, I, uh, I wasn't expecting a friend. Well, I'm your friend. I know. I just came to tell you who lost the bag of gold. Who? Buffins, I just saw him. I, I thought so. What about the bag? Gold. Rotten gold. From the gold transport? Yeah. What can I do to help you? Am. We're going to keep an eye on Buffins. We're going to make him a little nervous. I'll make him nervous, all right. Hey, Mark! Someone's coming. Well. Oh. Oh. What's the matter? 
Huh. We got trouble. There's a guy named Don Rutland in town. He's looking for a kid, Billy Sanders. The name is Robert Monty. Who is this Don Rutland? A fur trapper, but he could become a problem. By the way, Billy's uh, Robert's father is dead. That's good. What about Rutland? Kill him. And real legal-like. Just like we do everything. Wait a minute. Have you got anything to drink? Take it. You're going to tell the people in Camp Kano that Rutland was the one who attacked the gold transport. Then you'll arrest him and put him into jail. Give him a chance to escape. And then when he does, you can shoot him. You better practice your aim so you don't miss. OK. Well, now we've had it. Just because of that damn kid. Shut up. What you did is 10 times worse. Because of you, we've got to play our Bonanza game earlier than we wanted to. Our sheriff? Yeah. Your sheriff, Buffins. They won't believe Ham. He's just a black man. They won't believe him. Well, now I know who my enemy is. You've got to find Billy. Yes. Will you help me? Yes, Don. You know I will. Oh, oh! What are you doing here? I'm looking for you, Sheriff. How could you leave lovely Camp Kano unguarded? Uh, I was looking for the little kid. You know, Billy Sanders, ain't that what you wanted? And? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can I give you a little tip? Sure. I know for a fact that one of the murderers from Bear Creek is here in Camp Kano. But don't tell anyone. I'm warning you, if you make a false accusation... No, no. I wouldn't accuse anyone without definite proof. But you could help me. You are the sheriff. You should investigate, cross-examine each and every one of these people. Until you have the murderers. You understand? You'll have them in a trap. Oh. I'll be around again. A young boy about 10 years old. His name is Billy Sanders. No, I haven't seen any youngsters around here. You're good men. I'm going to appoint you my deputies. Tinker. Thank you. My pleasure. We'll do our best for you, Buffins. Yeah, I promise you that. I think we're going to have company. Yeah, who? Don Rutland. The guy's been snooping around, and I don't like that. Ah, Mr. Rutland. What gives me the honor? Billy Sanders, I was just curious. Did you find out anything? Do you know where he might be? I don't know anything yet. But I'll know something soon. I and my new deputies here are going to search every house. And when I catch the murderer, let him watch out. We found gold on our claim. There's gold in our mines. Right now, Bonanza! All right, everybody, let's go for a celebration. I'm buying everybody drinks. The whole town is invited. You hear me? The whole town. All right, everybody, into the saloon. Come on. Hey, 
I might as well go have a drink. It's free. Oh, no, no, you don't, Tinker. No drinking while you're on duty. Go search the houses there. I'll check the hotel. to run across him. Boy named Billy Sanders. Yeah, about that high. No, I never heard the name before. I found gold! I found Bonanza, mister! Uh, Mr. Uh, Rutland. Rutland. Mr. Rutland. I never heard of you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're my friend. <laughs> Come on, give my friend a drink. Well, what did you find? Nothing. Now we searched about every place in town. We've just got to keep looking. Let's go. Frank Fox. But that's the pouch that I gave to the gold transport. We've got him. <laughs> I, uh, I can empty a bottle on any deck, even no, in the worst on. hurry, without holding on to any rail. Even on this deck, what do you think? Land rat. Another drink for everybody! Wait! Hoist the sail! Now, hoist me the head! We're heading into a hurricane! <laughs> Everybody, we know who attacked the gold transport. I found this in a saddlebag and a horse hitched to a post not 60 feet from here. My two deputies will testify to that. This bag of gold belonged to Mr. Fox. It was on the gold transport. And the bag and the horse belong to that man standing right there. Get back, get back, all of you. I'm in charge here. I tell you, it was that man. They killed Cotton and stole the gold. Let's string him up! Huh. Don't try anything. If we string this fellow up right here and now, we might just as well say goodbye forever to all our gold. Yeah, come on. I think it's right. Let's take it right now. 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 Captain! Oh, Captain! They've arrested John Rutland. Oh, Wake up. Hey, that's Roman Jill. Yes, 
Hey, step back. Watch it. Come on. Come on, I'm the sheriff here. Let me through. Like I told you before, the murderer better watch out. What? We've captured the murderer. Now we have another reason to celebrate. Well, boy, Buck, we can't do a thing. Not a thing. Whoa. Hello, Harry. What are you doing here, Rose? Have you seen a little boy about 10 years old? I haven't seen a soul, as long as I've been padding here. Have you seen the kid today, Doc? Going to. What you think you're trying to do? I'll teach you to take off. Ow! Ow! Go wash the blood off your hands and get back to the tent. Rutland's a thief and a murderer. Well, he's the man who attacked and held up the gold transport and killed your father. No, that can't be true. Well, it's true enough. You can ask him yourself. He's over there in jail.
What? No. Get out of here! What are you no, doing? Get out! You didn't do it! Ah. Ah. Don't be sad, Miss. Don is innocent. I know it. Everything will be cleared up soon. Thanks, Sam. can buy everything. We'll do everything we can to see that they give you a fair and square trial. Except first you're gonna have to tell us where you hit all the gold. You should be ashamed of yourself though, stealing money from respectable, hard-working, decent folks. Another thing, you'd better not get any foolish notions about escaping while I'm gone. I'll give you another piece of advice. Don't be sitting too hard on that chair next to the washstand. The legs are very wobbly.
Well, you said I should get on Buffin's nerves. You sure did. Listen, do I have to explain? No, you don't have to. I'm just happy. So am I. But you've got to go. I know. I've got to find Billy. Yes, I saw a young boy, but I couldn't get near to him. There was a high ledge on the river between us. I heard a shot and then I saw him. He was below me and he had blood on his hands. Did you talk to him? Yes. I asked him if he was Billy Sanders, but he said his name was Robbie. But he said it in a strange manner, and, and well, it was as if he, he was under pressure. Rose, can you take me to him? Do you yes, remember the place? Yes, yes. Good. Uh, uh, Rose, did your father have a rifle? I need a rifle. Yes, he had one. But it's only got a few shells. That's all right. A few is better than none. Well, get dressed. Go okay. on. Want here. Don't scream or I'll kill you. You <laughs> gotta know what I want. It's you. It's right. Yeah, you. It's you. <laughs> I saw the boy. You better go on foot. Buck, come on. There, see the blood spots? They must be from that boy. Come on. 
Get the sheriff. All right, follow us. Come on, Doc. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Sheriff. Poppins, what's the matter? Where's Rutland? Don't let him get away. He let Rutland go free. Let's get out hey, of here. Don't let him get away. Uh -huh. Hold on. I think I've gotten on his nerves again. <laughs> Finally come to your senses. We should have done this a long time ago. Shut up and start packing. Hey, you're not leaving me here. You're going to take me along with you, aren't you? You just can't leave me here. I want to come along. They're leaving. I have no idea what they're planning to do with Billy. But, but. Billy's in there. You gotta go get him. Go get Billy. Go on, go find him, go on. Don't leave me here alone. Hurry up. I'll take everything with you. We haven't got much time. What I do? Of course. Please, please. We'll take Robbie's horse with us, too. We can put the ammunition and provisions on it. Hurry up. You can't just leave me here. You can die with a kid. Please. Robbie's coming along as a hostage. Listen. Which way are we headed? South, to the border, California. Take me along, please. Take me, please. You can't leave me here. Doc, <laughs> stop your blubbering. I'll stop it for you. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Help me take down the tent. I've got to stop him. Please, Robert. You can't just leave me like this. Doc. Please. I don't want to die. Please, fellas. Listen Robbie. To Robbie! Robbie! Billy! Rose, take Billy back to Camp Kano. Get going. Go on! Out of the way, you crack! I'm going to take you back so you can face a trial.
Rose, what are you doing here? I've just come from the Monty Mine. Well, that's where we're headed for. Mark and his men were the ones who attacked and robbed the gold transport. Don Rutland is innocent. Boffins confess. Now we're going to get the real murderers. Give up, Mark. Give up. You haven't got a chance. Okay. I give up. Put your hands together. Keep them there. <coughs> 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 Killed your father, Rose. You're dead now. <laughs> Billy. Rutland, we all ask you to forgive us. I think it would be better if you asked him if he wants to be the new sheriff of Camp Cano. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yes, it is. No. 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 I I promised Billy's father that I I'd be his friend and take care of him. So if uh, you want to, let's go back to the mountains, huh? Yes, yes.
Yo, 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 yo,